Hey, what's up dudes? Kublicon here and today I'm bringing you advice on how to do a survival playthrough in Nuka World based off of what we've learned from the Far Harbor DLC. Now Bethesda has a certain set of rules and ways that they like to do DLCs and we could see an example of that in the Far Harbor DLC. You enter a place, you see a town, and they kind of set an establishment in the field for the DLC itself. By taking those tropes, we can apply those ideas to Nuka World so we can come in with the most prepared survival character. Lesson 1. The characters are going to be crazy difficult to fight. When you enter Far Harbor at first, you meet Avery, you meet Adam, and all of a sudden you're defending the hull against the terrors of Far Harbor. These creatures are soaking up your damage and bullets and are very difficult to fight. Even though we have that two times extra damage, we're still going to be struggling. We can expect something like that from Nuka World as well. This means when you're entering Nuka World, bring your armory with you. Expect a super mutant behemoth. Bring everything that you can carry along with your character. You want to avoid walking back into the commonwealth to pick up items and weapons and things that you thought you didn't need. This is less about optimizing yourself to carry items back from Nuka World and more about just bringing everything that you can so that you're able to respond and change to what is needed. Lesson number two, bring way too many resources. Far Harbor had an extreme minimal amount of resources. You can maybe get water from the dirty ocean Maybe you could swim across to find Longfellow's cabin, but then you have to swim across the ocean, take all the radiation to then get purified water. It was very difficult to keep your character hydrated in a way that wouldn't require you to have to work extra hard or have to take Rataway right and Radex. Because of that, make sure to bring a feast with you. Have tons of food, tons of water, tons of antibiotics, tons of Radex, tons of Rataway. Right have everything that you are going to perhaps need and want to buy from a doctor available with your character. Arrive in the Nuka world and likely find a spot where you can just load everything into a table and then you'll be set. You will be able to take out what you need when you need it and that will be good because you won't have to go back to the commonwealth to find this stuff. Lesson number three, skill checks. When you enter into Far Harbor, there is an individual who is laying sick in a bed with a doctor trying to help them. There's a skill check here, Far Harbor's first skill check. You have the opportunity to save this person if you have a certain correct number of skills. Make sure to bring your day tripper. Make sure to bring those special items. Make sure to bring your great mentats. These things will help you for these skill checks. And if they're anything like this particular Far Harbor skill check in Nuka World, that means you're going to have one shot at making sure that they work. Lesson number four, one hit kills. In Far Harbor, when you're entering and finally fighting some of these creatures on a toe-to-toe -to -toe situation, you're going to be discovering things like gulpers kill you in one hit. Harpoon guns from trappers, which originally seem like normal enemies, suddenly kill you in one hit, like silent rocket launchers. Expect things like this in Nuka World as well. When you're walking around, save as often as you can. Find as many beds as you can get, survival player, because as you're going through this place, you can always expect that there's going to be a surprise for one of these characters that originally you think they wouldn't be too hard, and damn, suddenly they're difficult. Lesson number five, the fog as a main mechanic. The fog was working as a story mechanic as well as working as an enemy for the player. You took Radex, you took Rataway, it also radiated all the creatures and made them different and more powerful. It also is what pissed off Far Harbor, it was also what gave the Children of Adam validation for the religion. You can expect a similar theme in Nuka World. As you can see on the Steam description page, they talk about the player uniting all the raiders to take over Nuka World. Maybe there's something bigger and worse in Nuka World than the Raiders. Maybe it's simply unifying Nuka World against the rest of the Commonwealth. Either way, you can expect that there are going to be a lot of speech checks, and you can also perhaps muscle your way through some of these situations. However, keep in mind that you want to avoid killing off half of your Raider army before making them join you. Thank you so much for watching. It was a total joy to have you here. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. And if you want some more tips and tricks based off of survival, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. And of course, I'm playing a little bit of a survival roleplay, which is pretty damn cool. And may the ground rise to meet your feet. May the wind always be at your back. And may the sun shine warmly on your sexy, sexy face. See you later, dudes. Bye.